Now let's consider this problem on the leak rate. A one liter glass bulb contains nitrogen gas at room temperature and atmospheric pressure. The glass bulb which is to be used in conjunction with some other experiment is itself enclosed in a large evacuated chamber. Unfortunately the glass bulb has unbeknown to the experimenter a small pinhole about 10 to minus 5 centimeters in radius. To assess the importance of this pinhole estimate the time required for 1% of nitrogen molecules to escape from the bulb into the surrounding vacuum. So let's envision what's happening here. We have a vacuum inside the container and then we have a glass bulb which contains one liter at one atmosphere and room temperature nitrogen gas. And there is a small pinhole here and these gas molecules can escape from the pinhole. And we want to know how long it will take to lose 1% of the nitrogen gas. So let's call V the glass bulb volume which is given in the problem as 1 liter that is 10 to minus 3 liter cube or 10 to 3 centimeter cube. The pinhole has a radius is 10 to minus 5 uh, centimeters. So I can calculate the pinhole area now. The pinhole area will be pi r squared. All right. So uh, the number of molecules that hit the pinhole per second will be the molecular flux J which is the number of molecules hitting a unit area per second the area is pi r squared so it will be j pi r squared and the number of molecules that will hit the pinhole in time t and in time t the number of molecules that will hit the pinhole not per second in time t will be j times pi r square t so it's molecular flux times area times the time t all right so uh, what is the molecular flux j is for uh, if the pinhole we assume to be uh, on the x-axis j will be 1 over 6 mv bar for all molecules moving in the positive x direction then we have uh, 1 over 6 mv bar the molecular flux times pi r square times t the total number of molecules we will be losing in time t should be 1% of n where n is total number of molecules which is equal to the number density n multiplied by the volume v so this will be equal to number density n volume v divided by 100 that's one percent of the uh, molecules so n's will cancel and we will reach at an expression for t so the time is 6v divided by 100 v bar pi r squared uh, now for v bar what should we take well this 
problem is actually a continuation of the previous problem where we found for v bar uh, we can use this value and uh, that is basically due to the fact that we have 1.15 grams of uh, nitrogen atoms inside this container that has a volume one liter so uh, from the previous problem and we're assuming the same conditions in this problem so v bar is equal to 5.1 times 10 to 4 centimeters per second so uh, the time t will be then 6 times 10 to 3 centimeter cube divided by 100 times 5.1 10 to 4 centimeters per second times pi r squared pi 10 to minus 10 centimeter uh, squared this will give us for the time 3.8 times 10 to 6 seconds uh, and one day is 24 hours and one hours uh, one hour is 60 seconds 60 minutes 60 seconds 3600 seconds so with this you can see that this will be approximately 45 days so we will see that 1% of the nitrogen molecules will escape in 45 days so once again we're looking at the molecular flux the molecular flux uh, assuming that we have all directions equally probable and uh, the a random distribution of molecules at thermal equilibrium one sixth of the molecules will be moving in plus x direction so one sixth and v bar is the molecular flux v bar is the mean speed per molecule and this is what we found out in our discussion of the elementary kinetic theory now uh, we have a glass bulb that has a volume one liter 10 to 3 centimeter cube the pinhole radius is 10 to minus 5 centimeter the pinhole area is pi r square so flux multiplied by area will give us the molecules the number of molecules that will hit the pinhole per second and in time t or t seconds it will be j times pi r square t if capital n is total number of molecules number density times the volume gives us capital n so 1% of capital N will be lost in time t. So 1 over 6 and v bar pi r square t will be 1% of capital N, which is n v over 100. And we can find the v bar value from the previous problem, assuming that we have the same amount of gas in this uh, glass bulb. Uh, so that's an assumption because otherwise the information given here is not complete uh, so using this v bar value we can estimate the time it takes to lose one percent of the nitrogen gas to be roughly 45 days